Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Paula Plaza. Today we're going to be reading this fun book at the mall um, called Daisy by Jessica Baker. Daisy by Jessica Baker. Daisy was named after her mama's favorite flower. They seem plain, but when you look closer, you see their beauty, her mama would say. There were times when she didn't feel like her name, especially at school. You don't look like a daisy, said Rose. More like a thistle, said Violet smugly. Hazel and all the rest of the girls at school laughed. Daisy put her head down. She put her head down a lot of the times. So Daisy made fun of her own. When she looked down, she found a whole magical world of things that seemed overlooked just like her. Treasures that were once special, adored, not forgotten, seemed the most beautiful to Daisy. Those were her prime possessions. She kept them a secret. It was a magical place hidden from the eyes of others. No one knew about Daisy's world. Buttons, lost marbles, cracked teacups, old glasses, empty jars, tin cans with colorful labels. They were old and useless items to others. But to Daisy, they were priceless and she honored and loved each one for its special beauty. less magical outside of her fort. There was Thistle looking for junk again, said Violet. The others just laughed. Daisy pretended to be busy looking for treasures, but her head hung so low, all, sh all she could was see her feet. One day after school, she returned to her fort and saw a beautiful cluster of candy bits outside the entrance. How pretty! Where did this come from? said Daisy. She placed it among her treasures and went home. The next day, Daisy was looking out for mushrooms for her mother when she came across an old broken saucer in the underbrush. Oh, what a lovely find, she said with excitement. On her way home, she stopped by her fort to put her new prize inside. Once again, when she got there, something was waiting for her. Daisy held the broken pocket watch up, up to hear her and imagined the soft, silvery sounds of the hands taking away. That night, Daisy couldn't sleep. Where are these coming from and why? Will there be something tomorrow? Each day after school, Daisy would head to her fort and each day there was a new item to be cherished. But she still didn't know where they came from until the day she stayed late after school. When she got to her fort, she heard a rustling sound. Hey, called Daisy, what are you doing? I was just leaving this for you, said the visitor bashfully. I've seen you looking around for school stuff outside of school. Oh, most people think I'm silly for liking your junk, she said, keeping her head down. Junk, I think they're treasures, the visitor whispered. Daisy lifted her head up. Hi, I'm Fern. 
I'm Daisy, said, she said with a smile. Would you like to go for a walk, said Fern? Maybe we'll find something special along the way. I bet we will, said Daisy. So, the reason I like this book is because it's, it's not... It's not bad to like things that other people don't like. You should not care about what other people think for you. Um, and at the end, you'll find a good friend that you like. And know that you, if you are unique, if you are unique that other people are not unique, it's not that, but like everyone should start being caring for others and then this life, this world will be a lot happier than it is now. Bye guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the notification bell down below. Bye.